day, it's Josh Jamelli here from Communa Group and uh, we're doing a bit of welding today and uh, thanks to our friends at Heron Forbes uh, Machinery Warehouse who helped bring these uh, video tutorials to you. Uh, we're having a play around with MIG brazing and that's right, you can actually braze with your MIG welder. Yeah, MIG brazing is a pretty interesting process. So it's using a, a copper silicon wire and it is a brazing process, not a welding process. So the idea behind it is that you don't actually have to heat the parent metal up too much. It doesn't fuse the metal, it basically sticks to it. And that's, uh, that's handy for a whole range of applications, uh, primarily say with galvanised metal. So the heat affected zone is a lot smaller and you're not uh, melting the galvanising off uh, too much of the steel. It's good for thin steel as well, because once again, uh, not too much heat being put into the metal, so you can weld thinner uh, metal, and you can do more of a continuous weld than you would with solid wire. And it's good for high strength steels, uh, what they call ultra high strength steels, uh, where that uh, heat affected zone might actually damage uh, the composition of the steel, and that, that's used quite, uh, quite a lot in the automotive industry. Uh, other things are for welding dissimilar metals, so like welding stainless steel uh, to steel, and uh, even cast iron, uh, so we're going to have a go at that a little bit later on. Here's our silicon bronze wire in the MIG welder, and uh, we're using the U-shaped drive roller, a kind of medium pressure, because we don't want to squash it, it's reasonably soft. And uh, we're keeping the uh, MIG welding conduit pretty straight, because it does tend to bunch up. Uh, if you've got a Teflon liner, like you use for aluminium wire, then that's the go, you put that in. A lot of things to remember, uh, you want electrode positive, um, you want 100% argon gas, so not 25% uh, like you'd use, 25% CO2, 75% argon as you'd use with normal MIG welding, and we're going to use a push uh, travel direction, like so. So that's one mil steel uh, that we've MIG welded with the uh, brazing wire. And you can see there's very little distortion. Uh, there's very little damage to the galvanizing. And, uh, you know, quite a decent looking weld too. You know, the, the, the bronze goldy color is quite attractive. So yeah, it's really ideal for thin galvanized sections or thin uh, mild steel sections even because of that low heat input. And uh, another thing uh, MIG brazing is good for is dissimilar metals. So here we're going to try joining stainless steel uh, to galvanise steel. And there we go. It's probably not the neatest world I've ever done, but uh, it's certainly joined it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the strength of that.